Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome with a new clip set. Uh, we have a problem today from East to Le Math Level 1 of May 2021. Okay, question number two. Um, please, before we start, I need you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and turn on notification. Here is a question. If two roots of the equation, a cubic equation with a, b, c integers, r1 and 2 minus 8i, these only two roots, uh, then what is the value of a? Uh, I need you to pause, think, and then let's see the answer. Okay, two facts we need to learn about for any for any polynomial, uh, cubic polynomial uh, equation like this, if it appear like a x squared cubed, sorry, plus b x squared plus c x uh, plus d equal to zero, it has three roots, always has three roots. Assume these roots are x1 and x2 and x3. I know a fact saying that the sum of these three roots should be negative b over a. The product of these three roots equal negative d over a. And the sum of the products of the roots in pairs like x1, x2 plus x2, x3 plus x3, x1 should be positive c over a. This is for your information. You need to remember that, especially the first and the last ones. We are going to use the first one here, okay? In our equation, a is one, b is a, c is b, remember? And d is c. I hate him when you use, the same letters, okay, but I try to distinguish between the bit by using the capital and small. Hopefully you got that. So from this equation, the sum of roots should equal negative, again, B over A, which in this case, B is A, A is one, so it will be negative A, okay? The roots are one and two minus eight I. Here we need one more information you need to learn about. If all A, B, C, D in any polynomial, all the coefficients are rational numbers, all the coefficients are rational numbers. So imaginary roots or complex roots cannot found individually. I mean, they must be in pairs. Any complex root must happen with its conjugate. So if x plus y i is a root, so x minus y i should be another root. That happen only with polynomials with real coefficient or rational coefficient, okay? Uh, in this case, he said that a, b, c are integers and uh, that means they are rational or real numbers. That means uh, when two minus eight i is a root, so the third root should be its conjugate two plus eight i. So by adding, by adding these three roots, this one plus this one plus this one, what is the sum? It should be negative A, of course, as we learned from here, the sum is negative A. But the sum here, this imaginary part will be canceled and the result will only five. So the value of A is negative five. The value of A is negative five. So the answer should be B. So remember that these relations, okay? And remember that if you have a polynomial with real coefficients, then the imaginary roots or the complex roots, if happened, happened in pairs, every root with, it, with its uh, conjugate number. So if two plus eight i is a root, that means two minus eight i is another root. 
if three plus i is the root, that means three minus i is another root. Okay, so the cubic equation must have at least one real solution and at most three real solutions, and it cannot have one uh, complex only. It must have two complex solutions since the coefficients are all real numbers. I hope you uh, understand this. If you found that useful, please like and share and subscribe. And uh, see you in another video very soon. Please leave a comment if you can't understand. You can leave a comment saying whatever problem you need in SAT or ACT or AP Calculus. Okay, see you next video. I hope you enjoy that. Bye-bye.